Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp. Today, we're going to take a look at the Axis tool. Now, Axis tool is a little different. It's not like a drawing tool. It's not necessarily an editing tool. It's a tool that allows you to set the space that you're going to work in. That seems a little obscure, so I'll tell you what, let's just hop in and start using it right now. Okay, so I have, we're starting with this little block here. You can see it's not on axes. That is, it's not aligned to the green or red uh, axes lines down there. It's rotated and the top of it is angled so it's not flat. Um, I'm going to say right now that I want to come in here and draw something on this face. And I want everything I draw to fall in line with these four sides. This could be done with inferencing. A little extra work and some inference locking, I could do that. But there's an easier way. There's a way to quickly and easily make this basically your working plane. So everything you do will be in plane and oriented to these faces. That's where the axis tool comes into play. So the axis tool can be found under tools. It's right here, axes. Um, I can pick on this here and I'll get a cursor that shows it. It is also, just to show you, it is also in the tool palette, large tool palette. So if I'm gonna go to View tool palettes on Mac, toolbar on Windows, and turn on the large tool set. And it's right down here, the bottom of this little, uh, what, one, two, three, fourth block is the axis tool. There's not a shortcut key to it by default because I, it's not quite as often used as some of these other ones, but you can, of course, provide your own shortcut key if that is a uh, shortcut, if that's a tool you use a lot. So the way this works, pretty simple. What I'm gonna do is pick a point, I'm going to pick this corner right here, and now and see how I'm moving as I move my cursor around. See how the red side of that little axis is po is copying is is following me. So I'm going to pick another point along where I want the red axis to to exist. So if I click anywhere on this line, boom, red axis in place. Now for green, so let me place it, click right there, and as soon as I pick those two points, it's going to move the the global axis right up here to that point aligned with the spots I just picked. So if, if I look around here, if I take a look at look at that, you can see everything's lined up there. So if I wanted to say draw a circle on this plane, I don't have to do any extra inferencing, anything like that. I can just click and drag. Um, same thing, I'll just we'll stick a rectangle on here. Again, just click and drag. Everything is oriented, aligned to the same sides here because the axis is there. I'm also drawing flat on that surface without having to do any inferencing because Right now, according to the axis, this is flat on the ground. A lot of times you'll do this temporarily to work on a section. So if I was making an architectural model, maybe I have a, a wing of the house or a garage that shoots off at 22 degrees or something like that, I can temporarily rotate the axis and just put that in and then bring the axis back. So to do that, I'm just gonna come over here and right click on any piece of the axis, any of these lines, just right click on it and I'm going to hit reset, and that's going to put it back where it was down at zero, back at my original origin. Okay, so a couple more things here. You notice when I clicked on that, I got a special pop-up menu. This is different from my normal if I just click pop-up over here. Um, if you right-click on the axis, you get a different set of options. So in here I have place, which is another way in addition to what's on the tool, well, it's not on the toolbar right now, but it is in tools, and it is on the big tool set, I can also right click and click place. And that'll again put me in the point where I'm placing that axis. So something else to notice, there is a modifier key for axis placement. So when I click right here, I click and place that first point, you see a little option for a modifier key. So Command on Mac or Alt on Windows will toggle which color which which one of these three lines you're placing so i'm gonna go ahead and tap it now i'm just gonna tap command once and see how it changed from placing my red to placing my green hitting command again is going to give me my blue command a third time will put me back to red again that's command on mac alt on windows and then i'm just gonna go ahead and place this in the same spot i placed it before so it re realigns there all right, now if I right click on here, let's go through the rest of this. So reset, we saw that puts it back down zero. Place allows you to go pick the spot you wanna use. So what are align, view, hide, and move? 
Well, move's kind of cool because what move will let you do is actually put in coordinates where you want this middle of this axis to be. So if I put a value in here on the red axis, what's going to happen is this whole axis is going to move along the red. So positive is going to move up the solid point, negative is going to move it along the dotted line. So if I just come in here and type in 12 and click OK, it slides over one foot. Right, right click on it again, Oops, missed it. Move, now let's move it back. So I'm just gonna put minus 12 and there it goes. So it's a cool way to put it, especially if you're starting to model something off axis, you could set your axis first using that move. You could rotate it or slide it around so you start modeling rather than having to adapt it to existing geometry like we did here. Okay, the other options here are hide down at the very bottom. Hide's gonna turn the axis off. This is exactly the same as if you come into view and toggle the check mark off right here. Bring it back the same way. And then finally, if you right click, you have the option of align view. Regardless of which one you click on, red, green, or blue, what this is gonna do is it's gonna look at the axis from the end of the blue axis. So if I hit align view, I'm looking top down, right, so that I can't see the blue blue line because it is directly parallel to my view. So if I if I come over here and I rotate even just orbit just a little bit and see that it comes back. So you're looking straight down the blue axis when you align view. So again, it doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't like if so if I'm over here like this and I click on the right axis and I hit align view, it's still going to jump to the top of the blue axis. All right, so let's wrap this up. Let's put this. Let's put the axis back where it belongs. I'm going to go ahead and hit reset. It goes back down to my origin, and with that, that's everything I can think to look at with the axis tool. So I do have to apologize. I am incredibly self-conscious about saying axes or axis. So if I slipped and said them backwards, which I know I did, I apologize. Um, Hopefully you liked that. Hopefully that was something new that you didn't know about. If you've been around SketchUp for a while, there's a chance you didn't know about all those things. I know I learned a thing or two when I was learning myself up on how the Axis tool worked. If you did like this video, please click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos a week around here, including one of these square ones every week right and about now. And you'll be notified of each and every one of those if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave a comment. We make most, if not all, of our content based on comments from viewers like you. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.